So over the last couple of days, there's been a lot of conversation about how great Kevin Durant is. And Scottie Pippen, a couple of days ago, decided to join in that conversation with his opinions. And I gotta say, what he said really disappointed me. And it disappointed me because not only the fact that he said it, knowing who Scottie Pippen is, and actually watching him on the jump and some other sports networks he's a pretty insightful guy when it comes to basketball he knows his basketball even though he has a couple of erratic quotes here or there where i think he's trolling for the most part but i was also disappointed with the reactions of fans i mean i get it you're gonna have trolls here or there but to question kevin durant's legacy and act like he's somehow lesser of a player because he couldn't get past the Bucks, or because he airballed, he couldn't carry them, blah, 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 all the stupid talking points that I hear. I gotta say, it's time for me to shut all that shit down because for years, I have heard arguments similar to the argument that Scottie Pippen gave against Kevin Durant. I've heard it against LeBron. I've heard it against Steph. I've heard it against numerous players. And that is this whole, you have to be able to carry a team for your legacy to be solidified. And I just don't understand that. I don't get why people want players to struggle carrying bad teams to prove how great of a player they actually are. But before I get into my analysis of why that argument is so stupid, I would like to give a shout out to our sponsors of the day, Starstock. Starstock is a new and improved marketplace for sports card hobbyists to buy, sell, and invest in their favorite athletes. Their goal is to enable sports fans to instantly trade cards like never before. Sign up today with my promo code YOUNGMUSTARD and receive $10 free whenever you make a deposit of $10 or more. But without further ado, let's just dive right into it and start off with Scotty Pippen because in the case of Scotty, I like Scotty. I've even said earlier in this video, when I watch him on whether it's The Jump or any other sports show, the bro has some pretty good analysis of the game. But over the last couple of days, this man has been tweaking. I gotta say, Scotty, you lost a couple of points to me because you've been having some pretty wild takes. And let's just start off with the first one. Because in an interview to GQ, Scotty Pippen was saying the difference between Kevin Durant and LeBron James, and he said this, KD can score better than LeBron, probably always have been able to, but has he surpassed LeBron? Nah. He tried to beat the Milwaukee Bucks instead of utilizing his team. LeBron would have figured out how to beat them and he wouldn't have been exhausted and he may not have even taken the last shot. But LeBron ain't KD and KD ain't LeBron. KD is a shooter, a scorer, but he doesn't have what LeBron has. Now, let me just start off with this, Scotty. Did you watch the games? Like, honestly, I love you, Scotty. You're a Bulls legend, so I have no choice but to show you a little bit of respect here. But man, you are wildin'. Did you not see what Kevin Durant was doing against the Milwaukee Bucks? He's going up against one of the best defenses in basketball, two All-NBA defenders this year in Drew Holiday and Giannis Antetokounmpo, and he's facing elite defenders everywhere he looks, whether it's Giannis, PJ Tucker, Drew Holiday, whatever it is, he has to go out there and get buckets on them without Kyrie Irving and James Harden for a good part of the series. And without Kyrie and James Harden, he went out there in game five and dropped nearly 50 points along with 10 assists and 17 rebounds. And throughout the entire process, he played all 48 minutes. How is that a guy that is not utilizing his team when he has a triple double and guys like Joe Harris are just not making their shots? And even when you look at the rest of the team, Jeff Green made seven threes in that game. Also, Blake Griffin had a terrific game one. Their role players outside of Joe Harris didn't even play that bad. So I don't understand what Scotty is trying to say by mentioning that KD didn't use his team because that's just inaccurate. Some players stepped up and some players didn't. It's just that simple. And for Scotty to make it look like KD can't carry is just ridiculous. Kevin Durant is the same guy that when Russell Westbrook went out, he put up the best numbers of his entire career at that point and won the MVP. So I think it's safe to say that Kevin Durant's ability to carry should not be in question. But then Scotty had to take it a little bit further and I gotta say, man, this was ridiculous. Scotty, like I said, no hard feelings but you have lost your mind. 
because after KD gave his obligatory response, which was <laughs> pretty funny, but actually truthful, I will admit, Scottie Pippen proceeded to go on Twitter and lie. Straight up, just capped. He went on there and said, LeBron James has won a championship without any help. And then when asked which championship, he said 2016. And look, I get it, he later corrected himself and said he meant 2015, but bro, they did not win in 2015. So as far as I'm concerned, it sounded like he was just trying to backtrack after everybody, including Stephen A. Smith, got on his ass. Because everybody who is an actual basketball fan and has seen the game knows that Kyrie Irving dropping 40 in a finals game alongside LeBron James was help. Kyrie Irving dropping the game-winning shot on Steph Curry's head in Game 7 of the NBA Finals is help. Come on, man. You gotta be better than that, Scotty. Not only are you on TV, but you're one of the greatest players in the history of the game. And if anybody knows anything about help and winning a championship with help, it should be you as you were the co-star with Michael Jordan for six championships and the fact that you spewed out this stupid ass help argument to diminish a guy like kevin durant who just had one of the best playoff performances in nba history is ridiculous and the fact that i have to see people agree with him saying these goofy ass takes about kevin durant's ability to not carry like lebron james is also ridiculous and that brings me to my final point and the reason i made this video the worst talking point in the NBA. It has to be carrying. I gotta say, look, carrying is cool to watch when you want to look at numbers and see their best plays because they have to do more. So you're going to see more of that player. I get it. It's fun to watch, but it is not something that players enjoy. You think Steph Curry liked to go out there and play with those bums that he played with on the Warriors? Not saying everybody is a bum, but there were a lot of bums on that team. Let's just keep it a buck. You think he enjoyed that? No, he didn't. Because at the end of the day, you cannot win with that play style. Nobody in NBA history has won a championship by carrying. It is just not possible. Players along the way have to give you help. I get it, you're gonna find anomalies in NBA history with the Hakeem title or Dirk title, but even in those instances, those guys had players on their team that elevated their game in the moments that those stars needed them to. Guys like Jason Kidd, Jason Terry, Kenny Smith, Robert Ory, and many others played well alongside Hakeem and Dirk. So even in those instances, I wouldn't say they didn't have quote unquote help. I mean, just think about it. People were questioning Steph Curry's legacy and saying that he couldn't quote unquote carry a team and that he's just nothing more than a guy who's been on great teams. But yet, when people are ranking the greatest point guards of all time and the greatest players, they acknowledge that Magic is the greatest point guard ever. Can you see the stupidity in that? Magic Johnson played with some of the greatest players of all time. Another top five player of all time, I might add. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, James Worthy, Michael Cooper, Bob McAdoo. The list goes on and on of great Lakers that Magic Johnson had on that Showtime team. Did I forget to mention that he played in LA, which was attractive to other players? And did I also forget to mention that he had Pat Riley as his coach, who's one of the greatest coaches of all time? There is nothing wrong with having help. How you exercise that help should be what matters more than the fact that you actually had help to begin with, because everybody has had it. And I'm not saying we can't look at things in proper context like Kevin Durant's ring versus Dirk Nowitzki's ring, but to sit there and knock a guy because he can't quote unquote carry to the extent of another player is ridiculous to me because we all know that carrying is not going to lead to a championship anyways. And the real testament of how great a player is, is how great you play within the team, not by yourself. 
but that's just my opinion you guys let me know your opinions down below in the comment section if you agree or disagree let me know i will respond to as many people as possible because trust me i do read the comments make sure you drop a like subscribe and press the bell for post notifications and subscribe to my second channel the link is down below in the description box as well as the pinned comment that concludes this video y'all have a blessed day i'm out peace